The quarry is one of the most busiest places on the island of Solor. There's a lot of work to keep the engines busy. Shunting freight cars, loading stones and rock, and most importantly, taking stone to the harbor. Whenever an engine goes there, they will find four engines working at the quarry. Bill, Ben, Boko, and Mavis. One day, Sir Thomas had an asked Percy to take a rock crush from one of Miss Jenny's machines. Today, Jack and his team are busy loading stones for the mainland. After Alfie was unloaded, Percy went to go help Mavis. Alfie was busily helping load Max. Every time Percy went to the quarry, he was scared. Once, there was a useful mine shaft. Nowadays, it was very useless and it was an abandoned building. No one had used it for a long time. Every time Percy puffed past it, he chucked away. He was scared of the mine shaft and didn't like going near it at all. But today, Percy was working extra hard to avoid the mine shaft. Boko often tried to tell Percy about the mine shaft, but Percy was too scared to listen. Bill and Ben were afraid of the mine shaft too. That afternoon, Sir came to see the engines. We've got a big load of steel coming from random docks, he said. Percy, Bill, Ben, I want you to shunt the trucks to the quarry. Yes, sir, said the engines, but they weren't happy. They knew they had to go through the mine shaft. Max and Monty liked to tease the little engines about the mine shaft. Steady engine, steady engine. Percy and the twins puffed importantly to the harbor. They had to wait for the stones to be unloaded. I don't want to go near the mine shaft, puffed Bill. Neither do I, said Ben. I hope I don't go near it, said Percy nervously. Don't be so daft, said Harvey. The abandoned mine shaft is just old. You'll soon get used to it every time you pass by. But Percy and the twins weren't so sure about what Harvey said. By the time all the stones were unloaded from Cranky, the engines decided to take a break. They decided to wait for two minutes so they wouldn't think about the mine shaft. But Cranky had other ideas. Come on, you silly young engines! He said, I haven't got all day. I have to learn more fish down in the key. Eh, okay. Said the twins. They weren't happy. The three engines puffed as fast as they could so they could avoid the abandoned mine shaft. This one's too heavy, puffed Percy. Bill and Ben were growing tired. Okay, boys, puffed Mavis. You can puff along the track now. I don't recall having a breakdown of the train, driver, said the fireman. Never mind, we'll chuck with it. Then the trucks were starting their nonsense. They yelled. Bill, hold back, puffed Ben. Come on, come on said Percy to Bill. The three engines were in for trouble. Monty had accidentally dumped a load of rocks on the track because of firing. The three engines applied their brakes, but it was too late. The trucks had come off the rail and had crashed right into the abandoned mine shaft. Well, I guess you three won't have anything to worry about now, chuckled Boko. Percy was worried. He had come off the rails and was worried that Sir Topham Hag would be cross with him. When Thomas arrived at Rocky, they were busy clearing up the mess, and Sir Topham Hag came to speak to the three engines. Percy, Bill, Ben, the action has almost caused confusion and delay. Luckily for you, you crashed into that old abandoned mine shaft. We didn't need it anymore. We were planning to demolish it. Now that will be used for extra space for rocks. Thanks to you, you have increased the space of rocks for this quarry. 
I'm very proud of you three. You still have a lot to learn about trucks for opening, Ben, said Sir Totten Hat. The engines were glad Sir Totten Hat wasn't cross with them, but they felt ashamed. When Percy was lifted back on the tracks, Jack wanted to speak to Percy. Percy, the accident wasn't your fault, he said. We all make mistakes sometimes, and sometimes lucky mistakes can lead us to good things. Because of you, you've given us extra space at the quarry. Sir Topham Hatton is very proud of you. Percy felt much better. He wasn't scared at the mine shaft anymore with Bill and Ben. They knew that it was gone, and they didn't have anything to worry about. The free things just 